everyone, welcome back to phonics. So today in phonics, I thought we could practice rhyming. And I know you guys are rhyming experts, but it's important that we always practice rhyming, especially since we are going to make a rhyming poem this, this week um, with Miss Strange. So if you saw my writing video, then you know what I'm talking about. So um, we need to practice our writing, our rhyming so that we can um, do a great job with our rhyming poem and writing. So this activity is going to be on Seesaw and this is a rhyming activity. So let me pull that up. All right, so let me share the screen. All right. So you're going to find this activity called rhyming sort. Add your response. All right, so you have these pictures up on the top. You have a picture of a tree, cat, no, I'm sorry, a hat. Let's go back. Tree, hat, bug, ring. Let's say that one more time. Tree, hat, bug, ring. Now you have pictures here on the bottom that you need to sort them and match them to the right rhyming word. And oh, pull out my screen. I don't know what happened to it. Go back to your screen. All right. So these pictures on the bottom, you need to match them to the correct rhyming picture on the top. So for this, you're going to use your pointer so you can drag the pictures. Let's do it together. So, let, well, first let's look at the pictures on the bottom so we know what these pictures are. We have a picture of a king, mug, bee, cat. All right, so let's start with the king. What picture or what word rhymes with king? King tree? Nah. King hat? No. King bug? Mm. King ring. I'm kind of stuck between bug and ring because they both have the ending sound, same ending sound, g, because in rhyming words, remember, things that rhyme, the ending has to sound alike, has to sound the same. So, king bug? or king ring. I think king and ring because they both have the ing sound, I-N-G, ing. They have the same ending. So king and ring, those rhyme. Good job, let's go to the next one. Mug. Is a mug tree? Mug hat or mug bug? Which one rhymes? What has the same ending sound? Mug tree, mug hat, mug bug. Yep, mug bug. They rhyme. Now let's do a B. Is it going to be tree or is it going to be B hat? B hat, B tree. B tree. They have the same ending sound. So that means. Cat and hat rhyme. Good job. So when you're all done, you can record yourself saying the rhyming words. So you're going to click the microphone, and then you can say tree, bee, hat, cat, bug, mug, ring, king. And then you can press done. So I can't wait to listen to you say the rhyming words. It's a great practice. I know you guys are experts on this, but it's always great to practice rhyming words, especially for our rhyming poem that we're going to be doing in writing. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Have a great day.